I've been waiting for summer to come and it's finally here and there's no beaches to go to. Sad face. <laughs> Just joking. Today I have for you guys a, sun, uh, uh, a fun summer party makeup tutorial. It's a long wear, flirty, fun, pop of color, high contrast and photogenic makeup tutorial that's semi westernized with the sexy contour going on and a highlight. And then the Korean glowy dewy skin base. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's begin with the tutorial. Okay guys, I'm gonna try and do this without a script. So I'm gonna start off with a primer sunscreen. And of course, since it's summer, we've gotta go with sunscreen, but this is awesome because it has primer in it too. But of course, you can go in with your normal sunscreen if you feel like this makeup product will not do. This is pretty good, it's not too greasy, and it's pretty light. Then I recently have been using my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray. Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray, that's really hard to say. Putting this on before foundation makes your foundation actually last longer, so I do recommend it. Then for concealer, I'm just going to go in with a little concealer blending brush and go over all of my pigmentation and spots, which has been a lot because recently I've been staying up and I've been editing, so my skin has been really bad. But actually on camera, it looks like I've got a lot of stuff going on with my skin, but it's really my spots. Basically all my moles and freckles that I got from growing up under the Australian harsh sun with barely any sunscreen on, I highly regret it. So moving on, um, I'm using the Chongsen Mural Highlight Stick, I forgot what it's called. But I'm basically placing it on the places that I want to highlight my face or wherever like I want to pick up the dull areas. And I think this is actually a really good product. Rawr. Yes, so I'm using a brush to just blend it out. And honestly, this formula is actually really great. You can use this as a foundation alone if you want to as well. Then it is time for our Laneige BB Cushion. And as you guys know, Laneige has come out with new shades. There's 12 shades internationally and 8 shades in Korea. And what's awesome is that they have their pore control, but then now they have the whitening as well. And the formulas have been improved. There's cool and neutral tones. And guys, just look at the packaging. I love it so much. It's so modernized and so sleek. And I just love the holographicness as well. And also the inside has changed as well. Um, the refills don't fit anymore, so you have to get the new ones. But as you can see, the inside is diamond shaped and so easier to pick up the product as well. So push it in and swivel it around to get like an even application on your sponge. And in fact, if you want to go outside and you want your makeup to last long or if you're oily skinned, then I do recommend the pore control. Um, it gives you like a soft finish. But I'm going to use whitening today because we are trying to go for photogenic makeup and I want to have a high contrast between the contouring later and our beautiful Korean style glowy skin. And guys, this is uh, medium coverage so you can build it up without getting cakey so don't worry. It is naturally glowy as you can see but you can set it with a bit of light powder later and it's great for on the go touch ups for sunscreen and coverage too. Woohoo! So now it is time to move on to the brows and I've been using this brow powder like the heck out of it. But as you guys know in my recent video, I actually did change color recently. So this is like just before I dyed it. But I still do use this powder, I love it so soft. And then I'm going with my favorite Anastasia Brow Wiz to sort of fill in a little bit more and define the edges. My eyebrows are quite sparse, like I have a lot of brows but they're sparse so I spend a lot of time shaping it. But today we're going to go for a cute, thickish, I guess, Korean straight look. <laughs> so fill those brows in, sister. Then to fix it in place, I've been loving my MAC Pro Longer, Long Wear <laughs> Waterproof Brow Set. I can't talk today. Um, and I love this color. I love the formula. I love that it's waterproof. And don't you think it's so funny how eyebrows look like worms before your eye makeup is on? <laughs> So primer is a must for your lids, especially if you've got oily lids. I don't particularly have oily lids, but I want my makeup to really pop and glow and my colors to show. So we're going to go in with a white highlight color first. Of course, my first step of makeup all the time. This is my favorite Urban Decay white color. I think it's called Zephyr. And I'm going to apply it on the inner corners with a pencil brush and blend it halfway across the lids to make them brighter. Naked 3 by Urban Decay. Hello, I love you during the summer. I'm applying this beautiful orangey, bronzy color. It's 
It's not too dark of a bronze, so it's a really nice daytime summer color. I love it so much. It goes really well with blues and greens. Actually, it really goes well with everything. It goes well with like a smoky brown or like even a pink. And today we're going to go with like a matte color on the outer part so that it doesn't look too much. Plus, matte colors for the contour is really good for photos. So what I usually do is I dot the outer corner, um, outer V corner. <laughs> and this is for hooded eyes or small eyes like me. If you have big eyes, bless you, you have so much space to work with. But for us, we've got to like just work with what we've got. So taking that little mark that I placed and using it as a marker to blend in a windscreen wiper motion. And then bring it down slightly to the bottom outer half as well to add balance and that overall contour. Pretty right? Now here's a tip for really well uh, angled lashes. I usually just run my finger along very, very gently and it makes sure that the eyelashes are curled in every direction. I'm using my favorite eyeliner, you guys should know by now. So I'm going to use it as the upper waterline, upper lash line filling between them and also winging it out slightly as well. Now we're going to go over with a brown eyeliner later so don't worry if it's a little bit messy. So you guys all know the importance of this step, right? It makes your eyes bigger and it makes it look natural. So if you see a little bit of skin color in between your lashes, that will just accentuate that look I've got makeup on. So make sure you do this step really well. And then also going in with the brown on top is going to make it look more natural. I like this Innisfree eyeliner, but I don't completely recommend it to you because they do dry out very quickly. But it's really waterproof as well as the S4 one. So these guys are really great for the summer. So here I'm using an eyeliner brush to blend it out and use what's left on it to place it on the bottom outer half too. Eyeliner is done. Now it's time for mascara and I'm using my favorite Hypnos Doll Eyes Waterproof by Lancome. And these days I have completely fallen in love with a few false lashes. I have no idea guys why I haven't tried them earlier. Misha used to be my previous favorites until they changed their falsies and they don't come out with the ones that I liked a lot before. So I've moved on and a few is so much better because it's so much cheaper as well, like one or two dollars and they're so natural. I'm like in shock right now. I'm like in love. <laughs> I'm so corny, gosh. Okay, so yes, try to use brown eyelashes if you're going to use eyelashes at all. I guess it depends on like what kind of event you're going to or if it's like a summer night party. If it's nighttime, go dramatic lashes. But if it's during the daytime, you don't want to look like you tried too hard. Now onto contour. This is the benefit do the hula. Basically applying it from the middle of my ear down to halfway between on the way to the end of my mouth. And then up to my temples in a C motion, I'm sweeping it up and then down to my jawline as well. It's okay, I think it's very browny, so I think you'll do really well with Caucasian skin tones. But for Asian skin tones, it does look a little bit orange actually. Orange, that's the word. It's like a spray tan orange color. It gives you a really nice sun-kissed look, so honestly, because the formula is so moussey and so blendable and nice, I think you don't have to just use it for the face, you can definitely use it for your body as well, but it could look really great in photos, which is our goal today, right? And then we are going to use the cream blush. I've been loving this Innisfree Mineral Fit Stick because the color is just so pretty. And as you can see, I'm using cream products first because we're going to go over with powder products to set it so it's like doubled up and it's like it's gonna stay all night long. I'm gonna use Benefits Coralista and Benefits Hula to set everything in place. So Hula is the contour color that I'm just gonna go over. Just using the BB cushion, what's left on the sponge, we're gonna blend it over the high points of the face to make everything sort of smoothened out a little bit. And then Coralista, which is it's just the most perfect color for summer. I think like if you're gonna go for one blush color in the summer, it's Benefit Coralista. <laughs> And then use a big fluffy brush to blend it all out nicely. Blend, blend, blend. Now it's time for my favorite lip combination. And while I say this, I'm still sad, guys, because in my last phase video, <laughs> look how in love I am. In my last phase video, I talked about these two colors. And oh my gosh. Um, the Laneige Two Tone Lip Bar is my favorite color, number 11, the Songhae Gyo one. Oh, I love this color. It's so pretty. It gives you that automatic gradation and it's got that yellow edge, which just, I don't know, it just looks really great in summer. <clears throat> I'm not sure if you can tell, but I think I like this. So this is the Aritam Volume Up Oil Tint, um, which I mentioned in my last faves video. But as you guys probably know, they recalled a couple of the shades for some of the batches. And 
And so yeah, I'm a little bit sad, but my colors have not been affected. So yes, this is still my favorite combination. Yes, double layer and then blot on a tissue for longer lasting lips. Then we're gonna set all of our makeup with a tiny, tiny bit of powder. I'm using my Laura Mercier loose setting powder in translucent. Don't you love this music? <laughs> Okay guys, I'm using MAC Lightscapade, which you guys know has been my recent fave obsession for highlight. And it gives you this really, really natural, beautiful glow. And it captures so well on camera, especially once you fix it with um, MAC Fix Plus Spray. Yeah, the makeup is pretty much done. There we go, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and have a happy summer or winter or wherever you guys are. You can be in denial with me. There's no beaches around here. <laughs> Share with me down in the comments below what your favorite summer staple makeup item is that you must have with you. For me, it's definitely a BB cushion because it's got coverage and it's got the sunscreen. So yes, that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! I'm <laughs> sorry, bye. Time to go, bye.